If you'd like to see more of our videos, hit the subscribe button to stay on Good morning traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezak at CM Trading. Today is May 26, 2020 and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, we're watching the Dow Jones breakthrough resistance this morning after the Memorial Day weekend holiday, which was celebrated in the United States yesterday. Now looking at the economic events of the day, no economic events scheduled for today, but as we look at the individual sectors, we're watching the currencies as the U.S. dollar trades lower across the major currencies, and that usually happens when the Dow Jones pushes higher. And sure enough, that's the situation we find ourselves in, the Dow Jones pushing to 25,000. As the economy seems to be uneasing itself from this lockdown and the anticipation that the markets will resume themselves in the near future now this is also reflecting in the price of oil where it's just shy of its resistance at 34 dollars while gold wavers and just trades sideways and lastly looking at the stocks the ones to really keep in the focus today is the fang stocks it's the facebook the apple the amazon the netflix and the google because these are the ones that are going to push us higher as the nasdaq is pushing higher but let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading so taking a look at the currencies first we're first taking a look at the gbp usd and this is really a very important uh currency because look at this massive rally we had this morning okay over the last 24 hours with this 122.48 capitulating at this area now we do have resistance at 2278 ish level and if we look at a longer time frame just to give us a perspective of where we are we've made an about face with the gbp versus the usd now if we look at the euro usd not trading with as much umph not trading with as much volatility from this 109 and trading from 108.92 to 109.22 which is a 30 pip move whereas the gbp usd moved much higher okay now it may continue and we may see this continuation of this uh correction if you call it as the dow jones trades trades higher okay so something to consider later today when we jump into the usd czar it does still look like we are making a correction maybe taking a little bit longer but it does look like we're making that correction i mean this is something that we've considered already on a daily chart and this was our wedge formation it did break that 1785 last week however it does need to continue making this breakdown okay so we could still see this breakdown occur and the rand getting stronger versus the us dollar now jumping into the commodities you'll see that gold is wavering okay not trading lower not trading higher okay so there's it, it, the investors are still timid to get out of gold however looking at oil we are getting closer to that capitulation here at that 34 dollar range okay 34.51 is where we're hit that previous high and then we're right there right now so if this does break above it with a significant candle i do think that we will continue our upwards momentum but just be aware that we are at this top of this range here as we continue today's trading now jumping into the dow jones which has really been the uh, pulse of the economy pulse of the international economy we're looking at a daily chart just now but let's take a look at a shorter time frame a four hour just to give us a perspective now we've challenged this upper limit at this 24,700 ish level one time two time almost three time and now we're hugging it and we broke above it with a candle okay now we are at 24,928 which is about 70 points off of our 25,000 and this is something really important because 25,000 is a psychological number. Now, we haven't been at this area, okay, since the beginning of March when this coronavirus, actually the pandemic started spreading in a very, very big way. So I do expect some resistance at this area, okay, especially at 25,000, okay, should be a decent resistance. Now, if we do break above it, then guess what our next resistance is 25,837 so this is significant this is very significant now when we look at the other u.s components when we look at the nasdaq it's close to its all-time highs okay 9732 is its high and 9592 so we're only less than 200 points away from our all-time highs of the nasdaq now the nasdaq reflects like i've mentioned before 
uh, the high tech stocks, the Googles, the Amazon, the Apples, the the Netflixes, um, all the major uh, computer and high tech related uh, stocks, okay, that are uh, listed on the U.S. exchanges are listed on the Nasdaq. The Dow Jones reflects more the traditional stocks like the uh, banks, like the uh, oil companies, uh, like some of the car making companies. Okay, so. The Dow Jones is more the old kind of economy, and the Nasdaq is more like the new type of economy. Okay, that's the way I like to look at it. So when we look at those individual stocks, they're still pretty strong. We're looking at Apple at 318. Now remember, Apple's coming out with a new phone that is uh, a little bit cheaper than its mainstream line. It's about $400, um, where this really could increase the sales of Apple. Okay, in this light of this pandemic, it had nothing to do with the pandemic. But maybe they'll compensate for their lack of sales from their high-end phones with this uh, discounted phone that has some of the same tweaks as the high-end phones. Okay, so something to consider when we look at Amazon, it's right there on its highs as well. Okay, twenty-five hundred, uh, just shy of that twenty-five hundred and twenty-four thirty-two. When we looked at Microsoft as well. There was a little bit of a resistance at this 187, but we're still on the higher end. When you look at Facebook, we're at all time highs. Okay, so really important to understand that this thing is very, very strong and this can reflect in a rebound in the market. Now, it might not happen today. Okay, and this is what I say this this may be a fake out, so just be aware of it. Okay, the next 25 days are really essential because the markets are unlocking. And we have to see some of that momentum and some of that activity in the markets resume themselves. OK, otherwise we're going to hit a little bit of a, a recession, possibly even a major recession, possibly. And we know that Donald Trump's biggest contribution to his campaign is that he wanted to make the U.S. economy strong again. OK, so with that said, we're hitting that summer months where it's traditionally lighter months. But nevertheless, you know, it's unlocking some of the economies right now. So we may see some continued volatility in the equity markets as well. So just keep that in mind, especially as we go into today's session, as we're hitting that 25,000 resistance-ish level. This is Fred Rezak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.